Hi, Karen Wells, Independent Sensory Consultant Australia. My June 2022 Bring Back My Bars arrived yesterday. I have actually prepared them. I bought them inside because they were quite cold and I know in other areas it gets a lot colder, but it's cold to me. And I've taken off their coatings because ours come with an aluminium coating, you know, to protect them and their journey over from Idaho. And I can say that I am so pleased that they are all brand, brand spanking newly poured bars, which is very exciting. And my nose has changed. I've actually, you know, couldn't resist and stuck my nose in there and had a sniff. Because first of all, I wasn't actually very impressed with the list because most of these I've actually tried and some of them weren't something that I would normally buy. And I was not, I was in two minds of actually buying the consultant's um, pre-release kit, which is, you know, a perk you can do as a consultant. But I did, and I'm so pleased I did. Let's get into it. I don't know whether this will be out. No, it won't be alphabetical order today because I just, you know. Today is Saturday the 21st of May and Australia voted today. So I've actually been down, stood in line, cast my vote, came back, and now I'm going to do Sensi, which is far more enjoyable than voting. Cider Mill. Now this is a fragrance that I was so excited to see in the list because I voted for it like a crazy woman. So Cider Mill is fresh apples, crushed pumpkin and simmering spices. Beautiful orange wax. I have been fortunate enough to have picked this up in a clearance sale when I first started. And it is lovely. It's quite spicy. I don't get a lot of apples, um, but it is a lovely, warm, cidery, spicy smell. Absolutely love this one. It will go in my club. See, brand new. It will go in my club, and I'm sure that it will stay there for a while. And I'll probably even buy a few just to get a bit of a stock up. Central Park Pralines. Now, this one is, of course, my notes aren't even in alphabetical <laughs> order. Roasted pecans, buttery caramel, and cinnamon sugar. Beautiful brown wax. I actually uh, was able to try this um, from uh, with a friend mail swap, whatever, with my friend Anne in New Jersey. And this one was a bit, I was undecided about this one because it's got a distinctively nutty, and I'm so pleased it wasn't chocolate because chocolate is one of those fragrances I don't really like. But this is very nutty. And it ended up being really nice. And I'm I'm sure I'll get a bit of a stock. Don't know whether it's Scentsy Club worthy, but it will definitely be something I'll actually get a few of. Central Park Pralines. Next one is Custard Apple, which is a lovely green wax. This one I actually picked up in the clearance sale and I had it for in my stash for a long time and it had got an ooey gooey bar and decided to melt it and I wasn't terribly impressed. It's pineapple, sugar cane and mango and that's not normally something I would really like. But after smelling this, I I think I, I would definitely give it another go. Um because it is actually, it's sugarcane. The sugarcane to me is the most prominent. There is a fruity smell. Um, but it actually, I don't remember my old gummy bar smelling like this. So maybe the fruity ones don't last as long. So we'll see how we go. Custard apple. Then we have apple s'mores, which is a lovely red wax. And it's harvest apples, cinnamon glaze, coconut milk, vanilla cream, toasted marshmallow and cedar wood. That's a lot of notes. We normally don't get that many notes. Beautiful red wax. Now, this is the one, one of the ones that I'd actually tried and thought, uh, you know, nothing startling. But it actually smells very delicious. I get the woody smell, but there's also that sweet marshmallowy, vanillary, not a lot of apple. Because like apple sometimes to me can smell moldy, musty. Mmm. 
that's nice. I think I'll enjoy that one this time, Apple S'mores. Plus, oh, my mate's gone. Oh, well. Midnight in Curacao. Uh, this is a lovely dark mm, maroon plummy wax. And that is currants, orange, and mirabelle plum. So it's actually a plummy colour. So there you go. Mmm. This is interesting. So what is it? It is currants, orange, and mirabelle plum. It's very tart. It's not sweet at all. And perhaps that's the orange. And sometimes currants, to me, can have a funny note to them. Um... It's a bit perfumey, which is interesting. And it's very light. Um, it looks as though it's had a bit of a melt. Mmm, <laughs> interesting. So, Midnight in Curacao. Interested in trying that one. Red Candy Apple. It's a beautiful bright red wax. And it's got... I've got, I actually really like the fact that they've got the Bring Back My Bar label and the original labels because they're very artistic. That's got little half apples. And what else has got with it? Strawberries. So Red Candy Apple is Macintosh apples. It's raspberries. Raspberry jams, berries, strawberry milk, cotton candy and brown sugar. Another lot. These older ones do actually have a lot more notes. Ah, now this one I can smell the apple. A little bit musty. A lot musty. And there's something else in there as well. What is that? Mm, maybe it's just the musty apples. Anyway, that'll be interesting. Red candy apple. Oh, up for trying anything basically. Then we have berry bubble blue. And it's interesting that this is something that was all three regions i think pale blue wax mm. sorry what are the notes blue raspberry tart green apple and spun sugar must have been in the kids range and it's got i don't know pretty okay very very light it's quite sweet i think that um cotton candy is predominant and it reminds me of the cotton candy that's in um cotton candy cookie without the cookie just the cotton candy hmm. very light very light may not be appropriate for this time of the weather but um berry bubble blue interesting then we have hug in a mug which is chocolate, hazelnut, and cookie dough, sort of like a coffee colour, chocolate colour, really. And it's all chocolate. Um, I want a coffee scent, guys. Just one coffee scent, you know. Um, it's all right. I've had it before. Not really one of my favourites. If you like chocolate, it is predominantly chocolate to my nose. And as I was going to say in the beginning, this is my nose. Your nose will perceive things totally different, no doubt. So Boho, beautiful purple wax, one of my favourite colours. Um, Boho is a clove studded winter apples, juicy black plum, candied mulberry and cinnamon sticks. Mm. Again, I can smell the apple, but it's not that um, not that um, musty smell. But it is apples. Actually, it's quite nice. Mm. Very light to my nose. You know, with all those notes, you'd think that um, something would be a little bit smel um, stronger smelling. But there you go. Boho. Always interesting. <laughs> Lemon Drop It Low. Lovely yellow wax. And this was from the dance collection. <clears throat> and when I joined, when I, well, I don't know whether it was when I joined or whether I first started purchasing it. 
It was in the clearance section. It was in the clearance section for absolutely ages. So lemon drop it low. I've actually had a few of these. It is... Oh, uh, interesting. I haven't actually got notes for lemon drop it low. Oh, yes, I have. Candied lemon. Crisp sugar crystals and citrus leaves. It is very citrus. But it is almost like a, um, to me, to my nose, it's a bit like lemon. Oh, what is it? Lemon chip. Uh, a lemon that we had just recently, which is like a lemon dessert. And this is what it's like. But this is like a... Oh, it is just gorgeous. It is a strong dessert lemon, almost like the, oh, I can't, words just escaping me today. I should have another coffee. That'll probably help. Um, you know, the lemon ice, the gelato, the lemon gelato. The Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Love this one. Very strong, rich lemon. Lemon drop it low. Then we have coconut cotton, beautiful pale blue wax, baby blue wax. And lemon cotton is, oh no, it's got coconut cotton. I still got lemon on the nose from the last time. Sun warmed cotton, coconut milk, citrus and sandalwood. Now, when I actually had this last time, <clears throat> it came back as a bring back my bar a couple of years ago and it wasn't it was all right but this time <laughs> i can smell almost a linen which is beautiful and i'm not so much the co um, coconut because coconut can go two ways with me i either like it or not but we've had quite a few coconut scents lately so maybe i'm just actually becoming to like it but this is nice. The citrus does come out. I wish there was a little bit more sandalwood, but maybe that'll come out when it's warming. But um, coconut cotton, pleased I got that one. Good one. And lucky last is sugar cookie. And that's sort of like a pale cookie color. And sugar cookie is butter, sugar, and vanilla. And this is a very basic 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 um cookie it's lovely it is a great mixer it doesn't really go anywhere on its own but as a mixer it is perfect mind you if i think you put like i could probably put two bars fill up all the warmers in my kitchen and put two bars and it'd be lovely in there um not very strong but it would certainly smell lovely and sweet and uh, that's what it is Sweet cookie smell, and that will definitely go in my club. I had it in my club. I took it out because I thought it was going to come back, and it didn't. Sugar cookie. There you go. That is um, my impression of all the Bring Back My Bars coming back in June as of the 2nd of June. Tuesday, the 2nd of June, you can actually purchase them. You can purchase them in a bundle, a bundle of 12. If you're a wax addict like me, that'll be, you know, the best thing to do or you can bundle and save you can put it into your sensi club um you can start a sensi club just for the bring back my bars and then cancel it if you want to so there you go thanks for watching please like and subscribe i'll put all my details below stay safe look after each other and enjoy your wax talk to you next time Bye bye